So when we um, when we're talking the two stages of the sickness, we're talking um, the way pH um, actually um, uh, work in the blood, the blood pH and the pH in the tissues. Um, the first way of the hyperventilation um, um, affects the body. When we hyperventilate, we uh, we get rid of too much CO2, and um, the oxygen cannot go into the cells. The oxygen cannot go to the cells. That's right. Um, but when when we hyperventilate, we change the pH of the blood. So pH of the blood, which has to be very in very narrow range, yeah. from 7.35 to 7.45. It gets actually more alkaline. It means that it breaks the barrier or 745 and goes up to 75, 755 and gets alkaline. We call it respiratory alkalosis. Respiratory alkalosis because it goes from the respiration and the alkalosis of the blood means that uh, the blood gets more alkalic. Um, when we have uh, this kind of alkalosis, the, the second stage uh, is that we build something that's called metabolic acidosis. And metabolic is because uh, um, the way the metabolism work, um, uh, the way um, uh, it, it, it's um, the pH of the blood um, change the way pH behaves in the tissue. And in the tissue is where we have uh, the problems. We have, yeah. for example, uh, the tumor. Could be uh, a tumor of the um, of the lymphatic du the duct, lymphatic duct, for example. Here, um, the acidity of the tissue, which comes because the alkalinity of the blood, they are uh, built up together because. Uh, of the um, the build-up of toxic waste material um, in the in the cellular fluid in in the cells, which has uh, would get uh, too little oxygen. So the products of metabolism are not uh, kind of uh, not uh, uh, hundred percent oxygenized. They are get half oxygenized or not fully oxygenized. And um, in this way, they build up as a toxic material um, in different kinds of uh, acids. So the acid buildup uh, refers to the low pH in the tissue because we get too little oxygen to the cell. You see? Um, so the first stage is the uh, pH of the blood changes, goes up. Second stage... Uh, um, the pH of the tissues goes down. The pH of the blood is very stable, but the pH of the tissues, different places uh, in our body, actually are different, and they are also changing during the day, changing during the time of year, changing uh, according to very different conditions of the air, of the conditions of what we ate, everything. So when we, we don't, it's not like in the very tight boundaries. Yeah. When we're talking generally, it just goes down, gets more acidic. And when we generally change, uh, start to change by res changing the respiration, the first thing we change is we're changing the alkalinity of the blood goes down to the normal. Again, it passes 7.45. So it's again into the boundaries. It's get normalized. That's why uh, this method of uh, Dr. Buteko is called normalization of breathing. Um, so it gets the chain reaction is the first stage when we change. We also change the second stage because they are tied together. Um, the build up of toxic materials, the waste materials, and build up of uh, acids. Um, locally changes 
uh, we get we start to get rid of it and the acidity of tissue goes up so from the condition of uh, uh, metabolic acidosis locally it gets normalized okay um.